Azure Web Apps, Azure Container Services and Azure Virtual Machines. Three services which tops the chart of most used Azure services. But can you guess a similarity between all of these three services? Are they infrastructure as a service or platform as a service or maybe software as a service? Well, the answer is no. Not all of them are of same computing model. As you can see, Azure Web Apps and Azure Container Services both are PaaS while Azure Virtual Machine is IaaS. So then what is the similarity? Well, the answer is that all of them are Azure application hosting option. So did you get the answer right? Let me know in the comment section below. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. In today's episode, we are going to talk about describe application hosting option, including Azure Web Apps, containers and virtual machines. And this is our section 2.2.4. And then in the coming episodes, we are going to cover the section 2.2.5 and that is describe virtual networking, including the purpose of Azure virtual networks, Azure virtual subnets, pairing, Azure DNS, VPN gateway and express route. Then finally, we will also cover the section 2.2.6, which is to define public and private endpoints. And for all of those who are new here today, please consider subscribing to the channel as we bring a lot of quality content on Azure and its certifications, helping you boost your cloud career. And very soon, my friends, we are also planning to bring similar series on AWS and GCP certifications based on the request from our viewers. So let's start with the very basic question. Why do we need Azure hosting options? And to understand that, let me give you an example. Let's say that you have a website or a mobile app or maybe an API or just a piece of code that fires based on some event. And you just want to host one of these onto the server without bothering the underlying infrastructure. Remember those old days? I'm not sure how many of you are from those days when we would install a IAS server, do all the configuration, deploy our websites, ports, security and whatnot. And finally, we would reach to a point where our website will be finally up and running. Well, not anymore. Life has become easier with the cloud hosting options. Now I'm not saying that the IS server is completely out. You can still do that on the virtual machines. In fact, I will show you that in the subsequent part, how you can install IAS server on a virtual machine. What I'm just saying is that there are better ways to do all these in more efficient ways. Now that you know why we need Azure hosting options like Azure Web Apps, Azure Container Services and Azure Virtual Machines, let's begin with understanding Azure Web Apps in more detail. And friends, please watch the complete video as I will also give you details on more Azure hosting options other than the three that I just mentioned. All these are worth knowing. So stick around until the end of this video. So coming to the Azure App Service, what is Azure App Service? Now, as per Microsoft, Azure App Service enables you to build and host web apps mobile backends and RESTful APIs in a programming language of your choice without managing the infrastructure. It offers you auto scaling and high availability, supports both Windows and Linux and enables automatic deployments from GitHub, Azure DevOps or any other Git repo. So basically Azure App Service lets you quickly build, deploy and scale enterprise grade web apps mobile apps and API apps running on any platform. So it is a fully managed platform and you use it to meet the rigorous performance, scalability, security and compliance requirements. Now that you understand what is Azure App Service, now it's time to deal with why use App Service or what are the benefits of the same. So first of all, App Service has a first class support for ASP.NET, ASP.NET Core, Java, Ruby, Node.js, PHP and Python. And you can also run PowerShell and other scripts or executables as background services. Then secondly, applications run and scale with ease on both Windows and Linux based environments. Now as a third benefit of Azure App Service, we have DevOps optimization. So basically you can set up continuous integration and deployment with Azure DevOps, GitHub, 
बिग बकेट डॉकर हब और एजोर कंटेनर रजिस्ट्री सो यू कैन सी दैट एजोर एप सर्विस इज फुल्ली कम्पेटेबल विद ऑल द डेवॉप्स एंड गिट रिपोजिटरी ऑप्शन द फोर्थ बेनिफिट एज आई ऑलरेडी मैंशन इट इज अ मैनेज प्रोडक्शन इन्वायरमेंट This means that app service automatically patches and maintains the operating system and the language frameworks for you so you can enjoy writing the apps and let the azure worry about the platforms and then the third benefit is that you can dockerize your apps and host a custom windows or linux container in app service on number 6 we have serverless code so you can run a code snippet or a script on demand without having to explicitly provision or manage infrastructure and pay only for the compute time your code actually uses global scale with high availability is at number 7 so basically you can scale up or scale out manually or automatically all of your applications host your apps anywhere in microsoft's global data center infrastructure and the app service sla promises high availability for those who do not know sla sla means service level agreement i have already covered sla in greater detail in part 6 of this video series links to all the previous parts are given in the description box highly recommend you to watch all the previous parts to maintain the sequence and the structure that we are following for this labors of az900 Okay so moving ahead we can never forget security and compliance which is at number 8 app service is iso soc and pci compliant and then on number 9 we have visual studio and visual studio code integration there are dedicated tools in visual studio and visual studio code streamline that work for creating deploying and debugging the app service So friends are these the only benefits well no if you want to read more on the benefits that i just mentioned and want to discover additional benefits as well then you are welcome to this microsoft documentation i have compiled all the benefits from this page and left the link for the same in the description box so that you can do some further self study Hopefully you got a fair idea on Azure App Service. There is so much more to cover on Azure App Service. So in the next episode, I will tell you what are the different kinds of Azure App Service and how can you use them? What are the different use cases for each of them? And on top of that, I will also tell you couple of more Azure App Services that are not mentioned in AZ900 syllabus but are worth learning as they are heavily used in cloud industry. Additionally I will also tell you some more Azure hosting options that you must learn in order to understand how much more Azure has to offer and friends to be really honest there is so much to learn out of the syllabus maybe not in detail for now but I will seed the concepts in your mind and also give you some really good documentation from Microsoft around them and you can then self study on all of these topics and friends besides all this theory we will also be doing some practical labs in the upcoming episodes so please subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that your learning on Microsoft Azure is never delayed and if you like our efforts for this episode Please help us expanding by liking and share our videos. And in case you want to connect with us, then all the social media platforms are flashing on your screen. Also visit our website thetechblackboard.com for free downloads. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.